Hello, my name is Kevin Rossiter. I've been producing B2B corporate video for over 25 years. And the reason we're here today is to look at homepage video, but not how to make a homepage video, but how to actually implement the homepage video on the homepage of a website. Now, if we take a look at here, this is Mitsubishi, big player in the financial services market. Here's a company that is in the construction services market, supplying scaffolding, and we can see the way their video is positioned here. Both of these examples I feel are exemplary because they show the right way to position video in the page. But if you look at them again, you'll see that they both have a banner. Now the banner is very different to, for instance, what you see with a YouTube banner where you just get a slice or a freeze frame of the video and it's a kind of random looking thing and it's not very attractive. While in this example here you'll see that the, there's not just a banner but there's an invitation to click. I'd like to step back a moment just to explain why this is important. The art of winning business on the web is to always sell the next click. If you fail to sell the click then the customer's journey comes to an end and they leave and they go somewhere else and your efforts are wasted. Most companies assume that if they put a video there it'll automatically be clicked. If you look here at this banner you'll see there's a very clear message explaining why the customer ought to make the click. It's not assumed that they will just click. So how do you get a launch banner? Well you need a streaming system that will allow you to have a launch banner. If it doesn't do it then you can't have it. Similarly when the video has finished playing, it should end in an interactive menu, for instance here, where the customer is offered choices and they think, ah oh, yes, I've seen the video, how do I want to continue my journey? Let's click here or let's click here. So they're given opportunities to further explore. By having an interactive menu at the end, you're helping the customer instead of just assuming that when they've watched the video, they'll know what to do. I think that's a, a really rash assumption. So why do companies repeatedly put their videos on their home page as a little tiny thumbnail or have it way down the page where you've got to scroll down to see it? Or even if they have it large display, it doesn't look good and often it's competing with a slider sort of graphic thing above one of these three click things. And it just leaves the client thinking, should I do this? Should I do that? Would I look at this? It, it's never clear. I'd like to look at why this happens. The first reason why videos are not clearly displayed is I think that marketing managers and business owners have no clear vision of how to use the video. It's that simple. It's low on their priorities. They're thinking about lots of other things that they've got to do and somehow or other they just park the video on the page. It's not satisfactory, but people do it every day. Another reason why companies don't give their homepage video a clear presence, right where it's going to be seen in the visible area of the screen, is because I think somewhere along the line they lack confidence. They've gone over from a text-based system of their website and suddenly they're pinning their all on this two-minute homepage message. And I think there's just doubt there. They just lack the confidence that's going to do the job for them. And they're still relying on the text on their homepage. People don't read text. They only read it when they have to, when they're really studying. Certainly first-time vid visitors, do they want to read text? I'm not so sure. And heat maps easily reveal this. If you see a heat map of a home page, you start at the top here and go down the page to here, you see it gets really cold. People don't look below the visible line. So companies hide their videos on their home page. If you've got through the issues of you're not confident in your video, you don't give it enough priority, and you're determined to maximize its benefit on your home page by giving it great visibility, a terrific launch banner, and an invitation to click, then you've got to deal with your webmaster. Now, I know from experience that many webmasters, they feel that they understand everything they need to know about streaming video, but they're not marketers, and I don't believe they do know. Invariably, to position your home page video clearly, you're going to have to redesign your homepage template. I think companies should be aware of this, wake up to this if you like, and think, yes, we want to change our homepage because our best possible message, the video, needs the maximum prominence that we can give it. But when they talk to their webmaster, the webmasters are often reluctant. I've had many experiences like this. Webmasters do a thousand things right, but video is one that I believe that 
at least two thirds of them just aren't getting it right and they aren't helping their clients and they're giving bad advice. And unless the video production company offers real leadership in this area, then things will remain as they are and marketing managers will wonder why they're not happy with what they've got and it's something to do with the web. The other thing I'd like to talk about in the display of a video on the home page is the size. Now I believe size matters. Putting a little thumbnail on your home page is not going to be a big winner. Now I'll demonstrate why size matters. Anybody with a decent sized lounge wants the biggest possible television. In the last 10 years we've all bought bigger and bigger and bigger TV sets. Big is good. We like big images. We like big video. Making your video larger on the home page gives it a lot more presence. It's got so much more visible area to be seen, to persuade, to influence the visitor, to adopt your message, see some insight in what you're offering. And finally, I'd actually like to discuss YouTube at this point. YouTube is the worst thing you can do for putting your video on the home page. Uh, let me tell you why. First of all, you don't get the banner and the caption option for the launch. You get what YouTube give you. And you play the video, it's fine, YouTube streaming is perfectly good, but when you get to the end, you're presented with this menu, like all these squares that you see in YouTube, and basically they're saying, go and buy somewhere else, click somewhere else. And if anybody does click one of these options, they're immediately taken out of the site where they are, taken to YouTube where the video is, and in the right margin is a whole pile of competitors now that to me seems absolutely self-destructive and yet if you count the percent of B2B companies who are using YouTube video on the home page you think crikey why are they doing this this is this must this is crazy and yet it happens all the time every day to sum up I'd just like to end with a few examples from our own studio Rossiter site which can show you how I believe that good video on the home page or on an inner page can be presented here and here and here. The take home messages are these. Make your banner big. If it's smaller, make it attractive. Have a caption to invite people to click. Don't assume that they'll click. And then when the video is over, Make sure that there's an interactive menu so you can continue to steer them on, on their course and offer them choices. Don't just assume that they're going to watch the video and automatically be interested in you. Well, thank you very much for watching. My name is Kevin Roster. I'm the head producer at Studio Rossiter. Thank you.